your bobby pins your brush your comb your rubber bands gel spray carol's daughter detangler edge control and rice baby girl first we're gonna start off with very very fresh hair so we got baby girl lucky here we're gonna spray our rice water make sure we're working our fingers through our hair really really well so we're getting out all those loose detangles um anything you know how natural hair do make sure we just detangle it then we're gonna get our black vanilla yeah our cow's daughter 401 detangler and we're gonna put a good little amount of that in our hands and we're going to distribute that all throughout the hair that's also going to help with the detangling and also it helps my relationship with lucky because she is so tender-headed oh boy so we're going to add some oil. Um, this is like an olive oil, castor oil, black Jamaican oil mixture that I've made. I'll be doing a video on that soon. Um, to show y'all actually what oils we use, it's, it's actually very, very hydrating for the hair, the edges, and also helps with the hair growth. So we're going to massage that into the hair like so. Pretty much still detangling. Now we're going to take our gel. We're going to try this edge booster. I'm going to be honest with you. I really wasn't fond of it afterwards because like a day later I had to like wash Lucky's hair because it got kind of turned white. So yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't care for it. I'm not a big gel person on her hair. But especially when we want to have slick ponytails, I got to kind of put it on there. So we're going to slick the ponytail back. It doesn't have to be extremely tight because we're going to go back and we're going to brush it down some as well. So just put it on there as good as, you know, pretty good not too tight don't want to pull the hair we're going to add a little bit more gel in there just to slick down those um edges and also some of those stray hairs that seem to just want to get out of whack with us when we're doing our hair so we're going to slick that down real real good so once we have it slicked down as you see we're going to what, look, what are you, lucky what are you doing we're going to then tie our hair down so i like to tie lucky's hair down with at least two bandanas i'll tie one towards the back and then i'll turn around and tie the other one towards the front the exact same way i tied the one towards the back just to make sure that we are tying down her whole head and we're gonna let that sit for a while and we're gonna come back and we're back <laughs> so we're gonna take our hair down and you see that we are slick baby yes that's exactly what we want i did her some poly gel nails so you know she was going crazy so now we're going to add our ponytail we're going to pretty much put a rubber band around the hair and then pretty much pull the hair apart so we're going to add that to the back ponytail that we've already created with our own hair and we're just going to tie that around that same ponytail same way we do any other ponytail nothing new nothing major ladies don't make this more difficult than it has to be so now as we rearrange the ponytail how we want it to sit over our ponytail if you want to make it tighter, that's what you see me doing right there. Just going to make it tighter. Now we're going to add some bobby pins in just to make sure, just to give the hair a little bit more security. We're just going to go ahead and add those bobby pins in, ladies. You can add as many or as many or as less as you want. Lucky likes her ponytail to feel very, very secure. Even though it's not going to go anywhere with the ponytail, we just like to secure it. So we're going to brush it down a little bit more. I'm brushing that hair down, securing again with some more pins. And we have fluffed it out. Now we're going to add a bow. And we are almost done, ladies. I like to add bows to our little girl's hair because it just makes everything look very girly, very fun. Big puff ponytail, exactly what she wanted. But, hey, y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like I'm telling y'all. But we came back and we're going to shape it up a little bit. We felt like it was a little bit too big for her head. So we're just going to shape it down, thin it out just a little bit. Now, you don't have to do this step. We really just did this step because we felt like we wanted it just a little bit more um natural looking, not so big. You know, she's 11 and it was just really overpowering her head. Like once we like just sat there and watched it like for a while around the house. So we're just going through thinning it out, doing what we do. But ladies, this is pretty much it. Make sure y'all are following me on Facebook, Skittles World of Beat. On Instagram, Skittles World of Beat underscore. Y'all see it right here in the description. And also, if you need to email me, email, email me at skittlesworldofbeat at gmail.com. I'm here to answer any and all your questions, ladies. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn that bell on so you know exactly when I've dropped a new video. And make sure y'all continue to follow me, share me, and like all my videos. Hey, this is not 
got the last faux ponytail y'all will see we're gonna definitely come back and give you guys many 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 more natural hairstyles for all my natural girls out there with that being said we out baby <laughs> <laughs>